All right, so before y'all get mad, because I know what y'all going to do. Y'all going to get mad at me and be like, man, we don't need these guys. We don't, no, no, no. Listen, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like we need both of them. I feel like we could use both of them. I really, really do. We've got Aiden Hutchinson. We've got Charles Houston. We've got Charles Rod Charles Rogers. Charles Harris. We had Charles Rogers. We have edge rushers. We also have wide receivers, and we had a guy to step up that's been been quietly forgotten over the past year and a half. Josh Reynolds, our leading receiver. You know who name we didn't hear and we didn't even think about on Thursday? Jamison Williams. Like that's I thought about that this morning. I was like, wait a minute. In five weeks, Jamison will be back. In two weeks, he can he can come back to the team. Like it's just it's crazy. We've been so focused on the season. That's what the season does. But, 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 but I saw this. Shout out to my guy, Mr. Poole, gave me this information. I was like, we need to talk about this. I want to talk about it. I want to know what the fan base has to say. And what is that exactly? Well, there are two individuals that we have been talking about being linked to the Detroit Lions for pretty much the better part of six month, months. Who are those guys? Well, the early one is Chase Young. The late one is Mike Evans. Now, Tampa Bay and Mike Evans, no deal. They will trade him. There's no way they're not. They will trade him. I myself believe that the Detroit Lions are going to, they're already been on the phone. I believe that, okay? And the other one. A guy that we just keep talking about didn't play week one because of a stinger, Mr. Chase Young. Now, I don't care what y'all say. Our pass rushes, it's cool. Yes, it is. But it'll be out cold with Chase Young. Our receiving core needs some help. It'll be, if we got both these guys, I'm talking Super Bowl. That's all I'm saying. Why am I bringing this up? Well, because according to A to Z Sports, Mike Payton says, bet, uh, y'all got to see this because I thought this was interesting. Bet online, we've been talking about this quite a bit over the last couple of months. Bet online has the Detroit Lions with the best odds to land not only Mike Evans, but Chase Young as well. It says for Mike Evans, let's go back. It says Bet Online has the Lions set with seven to one odds to be Evans' next home. The Chiefs. Jets and Bills are in are in front of them. We talked not too long ago about the possibility of Mike Evans in Detroit. It's a pretty high possibility if uh, if Evans is unable to come to terms with the ideal that he's not going to get a lengthy deal from anyone due to him being 30. Now, what he's referring to is the fact that Mike Evans this is just a rumor because this was not confirmed by his agent nor him during the time that he was still talking about it, okay, is looking for three years, $80 million. Nobody's paying him that. Nobody is going to pay Mike Evans three years, three years, $80 million. The Detroit Lions will have more money next year than they had this year, than they had for a long time, okay? I think I made a video about this earlier, maybe a week and a half ago, about why him not being traded during the offseason works out for any team trying to trade for him. His value is going to go down. It's going to go down. He's played in game one. He's probably going to play in the next six or seven games before the trade deadline. We will have to pay less his salary and we will also give up less. So Mike Evans, I have been screaming about that for a while. So that's that those odds. Now, the other, the other person that's been quiet is Chase Young. He did not play week one due to the stinger, and he's a guy that I believe has, a, he's, he's, he has, to me, more potential than Jeff Okuda, who's injured, by the way. But So that whole class is just, that first round, early second round, looking mighty suspect. Chase Young, though, I feel like this guy, if he can just stay healthy, will be what he was drafted to be. Flashes of that year one, um... Rookie, defensive rookie of the year. That's what I think. But let's see what he has to say about Chase Young. Says, the other guy, the other guy is another player that we've talked about. Commander's edge rusher Chase Young is expected to be moved at some point and bet online has the Lions with three to one odds being the team to trade for him. The Bears are the only team ahead of the Detroit Lions. The Bears. Well, I know we can't let him go there. That's facts. He, we cannot let him go to the Chicago Bears at all. Why is this so big? Can't do that. They got Yannick Ngakwe. 
Bears defense, not all that good. Tremaine Edwins, Yannick, they got some guys. Offensive line is terrible. Chase Young would not be the guy I'm worried about if I'm Chicago. I think that one of these happens. If both of them happen, that would be insane. But let's see what the chat has to say. Sue comes out. Okay, where are we at? Please get Chase Young. Not worth getting Chase. Our offense with Mike Evans would be, okay, so if you had to choose, which one would you choose? I'm sure the majority of you would say Mike Evans, as would I, if the price is right. So here's what I think. Okay, Mike says best availability is availability. Sorry, Chase. Do not send him to the Bears. We we don't need Chase anyway, but Mike Evans was a better option. Now, if I had to pick between the two, I love me some Chase Young, but I would take Mike Evans. Mike Evans would take this team to a whole nother level. Both of them, it's a wrap. And in this package, one of our edge rushers would probably go. It, it, it really would. It would be Charles Harris. It wouldn't be James Houston. It was somebody in that, it could be Romeo, could be Julian. Julian's on IR for the next four weeks. Whatever happens is not going to happen until late October. So a month from now, this stuff will start ramping up. So it's not going to happen now. We'll see what Chase can do. I don't even know if he's playing Sunday, but we'll see. I will say this is going to be intriguing because you're talking about two guys that won't be under contract next year. Chase does not have a contract next year. Mike Evans does not have a contract next year. Would it be possible? Let me ask you this. What if, what if, let's think outside the box here, okay? Here we go. Here's what I do. I trade for Mike Evans at the trade deadline. After the season is over, I bring in Chase Young in free agency. That's what I do. If, if, if he stayed healthy this season. If he can produce, play, I don't know, 11 games. Maybe he comes on late. Maybe he, okay, let me ask you this. If Chase Young did what James Houston did this year, last year, okay? So Chase does this year what James did last year. Would you take him in free agency? That's what I would do. So if we get both these guys, then Brad is a magician. And he's already got a track record of being stellar when it comes to maybe not wide receivers outside of St. Brown, but trading for wide receivers, right? So Mike Evans would be huge for his track record. But if he if he's able to pull Chase off, that would be ridiculous as well. So me, I'm taking Mike Evans over Chase Young. If I had to pick one, the other, if whichever one I didn't get, I would try to go uh, for in free agency. But let me know what you think in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. Oh, by the way, Minnesota should be two and zero by the time you watch this. I'm sorry, zero and two by the time you watch this video.